Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Come join me on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm gonna to do a short follow-up video to the Avid Relink video that I made. Um, that's been quite popular, which is great. Um, again, Avid can be a bit annoying with its relinking. But there was one question that I got, and it was, what happens if you want to relink to your native media, but that being on another drive? Like, for example, you might have made a clone of that media on another drive, and you're actually relinking elsewhere to that clone drive. So I just want to show you a quick way of how to do that. Now, as we had before, um, we've just got a three, you know, we've got a sequence here. Uh, so we've got two bins transcoded over here and the 4K proxy where it came from. So these clips are the same. You'll see that um, clips uh, one, three and six, and they're exactly the same. At the top, the AMA linked or Avid Media Access linked, which is a legacy term. It's just linked now, but I just do it as, a, as part of a, as a habit. And you can see that it's actually UHD 2997. That's the raw, okay? And that's coming from this drive, okay? This drive over here in this project, in these rushes, so it's five. And I think it's cam one, okay? So that's the media, that's where it lives, okay? Now, I've made another folder um, just for the purposes of this on the desktop called Raw Media. Now you'll see that I've got duplicates of those clips here, okay? The raw UHD clips sitting on the desktop and I'm gonna relink to those, okay? So, so to start, uh, we have our sequence and our sequence only has three shots on. That's okay, um, this is just a demo, but imagine that's your complex um, edit, okay? Now there's my cut inside the transcoded proxy bin. These clips are all proxy, you can see the DNX, uh, DNX um, HD45, uh, progressive, which is good. Okay, so we've got our sequence here, and the, this sequence is referencing these clips, which are the proxy clips, okay? so. Let's start from the beginning. I'm going to decompose this sequence. I'm going to turn off offline media only. I'm going to leave captured imported clips. Create a new sequence, click OK. Now that's going to strip the media, um, the transcoded media away from the sequence. And it's duplicated the sequence as well, there it is. Open it and there you go. Now, you don't need to panic, that's okay, because we can relink back. Now previously, in the previous video, I relinked back to these clips over here. And these are the UHD clips. Now, what happens if they go offline and you need to pick it up on another drive? And that's the demo that we're gonna to do today. So what I need to do is actually detach this drive, okay? So these clips that go offline or move the media, but I think I'm just actually gonna remove the drive for now. So I'm just gonna close Avid down. Avid closes, I'm going to eject the drive. Okay, we're back in the project. Now, first we need to relink the raw clips to this AMA folder because that's the only way that we can do it. So if you highlight those clips, so remember this is the AMA linked, this is the raw, the UHD that was on my previous drive, but now I'm linking them to um, the desktop just for this demonstration. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to uh, relink to files, and I'm going to go to desktop, raw media, and I'm going to choose one of these clips. Good. And you can see that it's relinked those three clips now to the desktop. And if we just double check on the location of that, choose columns, and we're going to go to source path source path you can see that it's now on the desktop great that's what we want now okay you'll now see that this sequence is still offline that's good uh, clips are of course here good um, in order to make this happen we need to highlight the select to decompose um, sequence and also we need to make sure the uh, clips in the air mailing to bin is highlighted too this is how it creates the reference between them if I now right click on the decompose clip and I go to relink uh, make sure we don't select media on drive because that relates to uh, media that's in this, um, the Avid Media Composer um, transcoded media. We don't want that. We're going to select items in all open bins um, and we are going to ignore this. 
again, it's going to create a new sequence. Now let's see. There we go. So it's now created new clips and it decomposed relink sequence. Double click on that. And there we go. And we know that this is referencing um, media from this drive. So if I just go to this next clip, if I just match frame and then match bin, and you can see that it's jumping directly to that raw. Okay, so now we have um, reconnected our clips. So in summary, what we've done today is we have um, we've taken raw UHD clips, D clips that were on a drive, um, removed that drive, so these clips went offline, and then we reconnected these clips to the Avid desktop, which is where the duplicates of these particular clips were, and then we reconnected back to this decomposed clip. So you can see that it's not necessarily straightforward. It is a little confused, but that's the way that it, the, the process would work. So if you're remaining on the same drive, you won't really have that problem. If all your media is on one drive, you won't really have the issue because all you're doing is reconnecting back to that drive first. So you're, you're decomposing uh, and then you're relinking back to this AMA bin here. Okay, that's what you're doing. But if for any reason that um, you've had to change the route uh, of these original clips, you know, you've moved them for an archive purpose or one of your drives is broken and you've had to use the clone, then you need to relink those first. And you need to highlight them, of course, and relink to files. I hope that's been helpful. If you liked that video, please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.